Uh, I think there is a lot of pressure sometimes on us as creators to keep pumping out that content. Uh, I prefer the idea of trying to improve your content over time and not being a slave to your schedule. Um, obviously, that's going to take a little bit of self-control because you want to make sure that you're progressing forward. But uh, especially this past couple weeks, because I haven't been on my regular content schedule, it made me want to share some thoughts about what I think uh, you should be focused on when considering your content and uh, the direction that you're heading with your channel and your brand. YouTube Simplify. I get it, it's hard. Uh, it is hard work, but you wanna make sure that you're enjoying this process. If you're trying to build a brand online, something that may support your channel and yourself in the future, you don't want to establish a pattern or a framework that's gonna be as miserable as your day job or whatever it is that you're doing now. So that's something to keep in mind, and it's really important that we don't lose focus of that because if you just build another bit miserable work environment, what's the point? All right, so there's gonna be two main points to this video. The first is identifying a framework that actually works for you, that benefits you, that uh, doesn't feel miserable to you, uh, such that you're much more likely to keep with it, stick with it, and uh, progress forward and be successful in what you're trying to do here. The other thing that I really wanna talk about is the idea of long-term goals. It's really easy, especially in my situation, in the last two weeks, <laughs> just had some guy like, apparently he floated up to me because he appeared right behind me and scared the shit out of me. All right, so as I was saying before the silent stalker approached, uh, it's really easy, especially in my position, uh, if you don't have those long-term goals uh, to really lose focus on what you're doing and maybe think that you're not doing the right thing. In my case, over the past two weeks, I've been working on building or rebuilding, redesigning my studio. Uh, and I've been putting a lot of effort and time into that. And as a result, I haven't put out as much content as I would like to. But uh, having the long-term goal, knowing what it is that I'm trying to accomplish, allows me to feel good about what I've done to know that overall I'm working towards that goal. So if you've never really considered what your plan of attack is, to outline exactly what it is you want to do and what your goals are going to be, it's really important that you consider doing that. Get it down on paper, Get uh, sign up for uh, Evernote, which is a free service for taking notes and organizing things by notebooks and notes. Uh, super handy in that regard. And start writing this stuff down. Think about what you want to accomplish and really start to put it in some type of solid form. Uh, it's gonna help you develop those long-term goals, which are really going to keep you grounded and let you know that the work you're doing uh, is leading somewhere. And it definitely helps when you're focused on a certain area that affects your long-term goals, but maybe some other things suffer in the short term. Uh, it lets you know that you're still on the right track. So have you put any of your plans in writing? Do you know what your long-term goals are? Where do you wanna be? When do you wanna get there? All of these things are really important. And like I mentioned, having those long-term goals are really gonna make you feel much more comfortable about what you're doing uh, and help you to make decisions on what you should be doing. So let me know, do you actually have a really loud lawnmower working in your background? Let me know in the comments. So look, if you don't have a plan yet, or you haven't even thought about a plan, don't worry about it. You have plenty of time to do that, but I'd get started now. Go out, get Evernote, get out a real notebook and start writing stuff down. The more you put that stuff into writing, the more you can really identify whether you have a good sense of what your plan is or whether you really need to put some more thought into it. And yes, that mower is following me around. So let me know in the comments below what your long-term plan is. Really interested in seeing what you guys are all trying to accomplish and how you're doing on your way to getting there. Remember, once you have that long-term goal, you can start breaking the short-term tasks uh, into categories, smaller pieces, step-by-step -step process that will allow you to get where you wanna going. <sighs> allow you to get where you wanna going? Doesn't make any sense, Dan. It will allow you to get where you want to go.